The success of last year's Red Bull Wake the Line premiere got a lot of attention in the wakeboard scene. That's why the Urban Wakeboard and Wake Skate contest goes into round two in Cologne's biggest open air pool, the Stadion Bad. Four separate pools connected by kickers and rails make a total of 320 meters of wake heaven. Red Bull Wake the Line here in Germany is the second year they've done it and from what I've seen from the video last year to what they have here this year, it's a completely different event. I'm completely mind blowing on how how well the quarter pipe looks and the pool's set up, so it's on man, it's gonna be good. Awesome riders need an awesome setup, so the company Unit Park Tech sat down with a few riders and thought about how to build the sickest wake playground connecting the four pools together. The starting lineup is filled with big names from the wake world. Wakeboard action in its highest form along with many international participants that are fighting for the title and the $10,000 prize money. Most of the contests that we would do that would be similar to this, we have to build the pools. Like we have to like set up these pools in the parking lot or dig the dirt out and actually make this stuff. So to actually have this like, and it looks like the Olympics are out here. Something that's like picture perfect diving board pools and like crystal clear water and like different ele elevation changes. Like any, <laughs> any wakeboarder that would solve this pools without any of this setup here would just foam at the mouth to, to get to winch up and down it. And so, and now with System 2.0, I mean, you, the gates are down to what you can do on rails. I mean, you got guys hitting quarter pipes behind me. You got all kind of stuff that you would never really be able to do before. You can now do with System 2, and it completely changed the sport on a, from, on a rail standpoint. With the new cable system, the Wake Skate Contest is on right now. Last year's winner Andy Kolb came third. The 21-year-old young gun from Germany still goes to school, but is actually thinking of wake skating most of the time. Second place went to Leo Labadens from France. I didn't think I just advanced to the finals, but I did. So I was really happy and then I was doing my best and riding for fun and for the finals. So just happening good, second, I'm really happy. In the wake skate division, Jan Kissman from Germany got first place. Jan had to make his way through the warm up session where he got his wild card. With his technical skills on the rails and massive spin tricks over the kickers like a late backside 180 or a frontside 540, he was clearly the winner. Yeah, the victory here is very hard to reach because the level is very high. The whole of Europe was represented. That means very much to me to have this win. Over 7,000 spectators watching incredible urban wakeboard action on a new level. The obstacle setup included a massive quarter pipe at the end of the run and offered a platform for tricks never seen before in wakeboarding. Yeah, it's a super setup this year and a cool enhancement with the quarter pipe. That's something that's never been in wakeboarding before. Also, the start field was good with the American pros being here. Great atmosphere here and the weather is nice. We were lucky with that and the Station Bad is full. Oh my God. Schwann is so crazy with all the people like in the crowd. And they're so close. I can see everything we're doing. So, having a good time. We got good weather today, May 1st, out here in Germany. So, pumped. 
rider lineup in the wakeboard division included the world's biggest names like Europeans Bernard Hindeberger, Laurent Perrichoux, and last year's winner Peter Pascal Schmidt. And let's not forget the U.S. stars like Parks Bonifay, Keith Lidberg, and more. Yeah, to be here is so great. It's one of the biggest events of the year because it's something completely different to what we ride otherwise. The location here makes it even better. Super cool event. Sean Watson from the US can also be happy with the event. With this super solid run, the American kicks himself onto the podium for third place. He also wins the best trick with his quarter pipe action. It means a lot to win both of these, you know. I, uh, you know, we came a long way to come here, and you know, this this event's awesome. These rails are sick, and you know, you don't really get much better than this. And then to, you know, to get third place and then get best trick off that wall is, you know, it's pretty unreal because uh, that wall is something different than anything that's ever been done on a wakeboard. You know, we've never been able to hit a true quarter pipe with vert to it. So it's like, you know, it's pretty crazy. I'm just stoked that I actually won best trick. So yeah. Last year's second place contestant Bernard Hinterberger repeated his performance. The goofy footer has almost been world champion three times and in 2005 was athlete of the year. With this Crow Mob 5 over the last kicker, he secured the second step on the podium. Keith Lidberg from the US of A, who has already won several prizes, wakes for life. Easily first place for him showing all his technical rail skills. It was good, real good. I ended up on top somehow and it was just throw down, throw down all day and, and it was a real tough final. It was it was it was really hard to even get to finals, you know. Just getting to the super final was like, you know, uh, it was surprising. All right, well, Mr. Lidberg, a nice guy, but with this kind of fluidity in a run and tons of style in his kicker tricks, the first place definitely is deserved. We will see what the future brings to this super nice event, and maybe next year it will be even bigger.